Good morning. It is uh, seven o'clock in the morning, and me and Marcy, Marcy, they close that drawer first, baby. Me and Marcy, no, it doesn't close itself. Me and Marcy are packing her breakfast, or sorry, but her snack for school. She goes to preschool, so we're just packing that up, and then um, baby brother is still asleep. So we are just gonna spend some girl time. Okay, and this is a preschool snack. We have peppers and carrots, and we have blueberries, stuffed raspberries that Marcy told me to make, and then we have some cut cheese. And yeah, a tomato. Oh yeah, grab out the tomato. Marcy has such bad allergies all the time. My poor baby. So I was a little nervous today, because I was like, oh, what am I gonna do for a video? But then, my mother-in-law decided to go to Trader Joe's, and pick me up everything pumpkin that she could find. So I'm so excited to show you guys what we got from Trader Joe's and um, it looks really good. It looks all pumpkin-y and so cute. I wish I got to go, but I had work. So I didn't get to go. But anyway, I will show you guys what we got. Okay, so here's just the goodness that we got. That is all pumpkin. Some is just, this is just like cool, but I'll show you anyway. And this is the pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. Oh my God. All right, so I'll show you guys this one by one and we can talk about it. I'm so excited. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you guys is these pumpkin bagels which I feel like are the most basic of what we have here. Um, but I figure what I'll do is I'll show you guys and then do like the Weight Watchers points. So these are some pumpkin bagels. They have a long list of ingredients. But you know what, I can, I understand most of it besides at the very bottom. What the heck is farina? Let me know in the comments if you know what farina is. Okay, and let's see how many points one serving is. Okay, so that says eight points. So, look, it might be worth it, okay? Anyway, so these are the pumpkin bagels. They're eight points on Weight Watchers, and they sound delicious. Oh my God, pumpkin pie spice bits. Oh my God. Okay, and next is this pu pumpkin bread and muffin mix. Just add eggs, oil, and water. Um, it tells you right here how to make the... Um, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it tells you to make the muffins, holiday bread. I don't know. Ooh, holiday bread. That sounds so delicious. Okay. Here's the nutritional info. And then let me see what the ingredients are. And then let's do Weight Watchers points. Seven. Um, one fourth cup, so I'm not really sure because um, it says per one sixteenth of the package. Okay, so let's just hope that that dry mix means um, one point four, like as one and a half, or sorry, one fourth of whatever you're gonna eat. I say just eat a muffin and track it at seven points, or a slice of the bread and track it at seven points too. Um, I think this is what I'm most excited for. This sounds delicious: ginger, turmeric, granola. Sweet and spicy clusters of rolled oats with pieces of coconut and candied ginger. Oh my god. That sounds so good and so perfect. Now I know granola is always a ton of calories, so uh, let's just go easy on it, okay? But otherwise, in my untrained eye, the ingredients don't look too bad. Um, it does look like there's a lot of uh, allergy warnings. But anyway, this looks delicious, and let's go ahead and say this is going to be like 11 points for one serving. Right, here's the scanner. Okay. Wow, was I right? Did I say 11 points? It's 11 points, y'all. So, definitely a splurge with this. So it says three-fourths cup, I would just take, like, do, like, the least amount that you could possibly do, like, one-fourth cup, and you'll probably cut your points down to, like, five or six, so it might be worth it, because it sounds delicious. Let me know if you want to do, like, if you want me to do, like, a taste test on camera of all these. That would be 
embarrassing. But anyway, that's the ginger and turmeric granola. Now this, the pumpkin butter, I feel like you could probably get, we have a lot of like Amish markets around here. I feel like you could probably get this at any Amish market and not have to go to Trader Joe's for it, but hey, like whatever. These are 40, this is 40 calories and for one teaspoon. And then let me see how many points it is. Oh, that's not bad. One tablespoon is two points. Put this on some bagel skinnies or anything really. That sounds so delicious. Do I keep saying delicious? It just sounds good, okay? I don't know what else to say other than delicious. Yes, pumpkin bisque. This sounds delicious. Oh my God, this sounds great. This sounds exquis exquisite. This just sounds really good, okay? So this pumpkin bisque, um, it says a creamy soup with pumpkin and fall spices. <laughs> Jesus, that is a lot. But I will say this has really basic ingredients in it. And so the calories may be bad on it, but hey, at least you know you're getting everything whole. It doesn't sound too bad at all. It says pumpkin puree, water, honey, pasteurized, heavy cream, olive oil, tahini, onion puree, apple cider, vinegar, cornstarch, garlic puree, puree, sea salt, citric acid, and spices. So let's see, this is probably gonna be insane on Weight Watchers. But let's just try it anyway. What do you what are your guesses? Let me know if you were right. I'm gonna say for three servings. So one cup, I'm going to say it's going to be about 23 points. 16, okay. Well, that's not bad. But I mean obviously I'm not gonna use my entire day's points on one soup. I do not think it'll be worth it. But again, I'll update you guys after I taste test these. Let me know if you're interested in the taste test or if you just came here to, sorry. If, let me know if you're interested in the taste test or you just came here to see my haul. Ah! Another pretty basic item I think is these pumpkin rolls. I think a lot of places sell these, but I just wanted them now, so I don't wanna wait for them. Um, you have to keep these refrigerated. Jeez, these points are crazy, or these calories are crazy as well. I'm assuming because of the icing. Without icing, wow. Okay, I don't know who, what sicko was gonna eat this without icing, but anyway, the this is the ingredients. These are the baking instructions, and now let's get to the points. This is gonna roll away. Hold on one second, and that is it for. 15 points. Okay, the next thing is just seemed pretty um, cool. I've never heard of sparkling tea before. So this is sparkling yerba mat <laughs> beverage with hibiscus and citrus flavors. Has a lot of caffeine in it, so I'm not gonna drink it tonight. Um, I'll drink it tomorrow. Um, but zero calories, so that's gonna be no points. Next thing, which I'm like so excited about, are these pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookies. Um, this is looks absolutely delicious. I don't even care how many points it is because I just want to try one so bad. And ooh, maybe I'll do like a fall baking day. Um, but anyway, so let's see how many points these are. Now they're only 140 calories, so we might be not be looking at too many points here. Okay, so it's actually seven, seven, six points, maybe half one is three. So that's still not too bad. And all you need to bake them is just one, oh, never mind, I thought it was just one egg, but you need a whole stick of butter and two tablespoons of water. And it's, it's nice that you use the whole package when you make them too, because it's like, you don't have half of it just like chilling in your pantry for the rest of the season. We don't feel like making any more. Oh my God, I wanna make these right now. Next we have pumpkin, pancake, and waffle mix. Again, pretty basic, but worth it for um, like Marcy will love these, the kids will love these, so, and I will love them. So and a lot of ingredients. And this is how to make pancakes, how to make waffles. And then this is just like a little ad i guess i don't know why you'd have to like sell this to people because it sounds great so anyway let's see how many points it is okay and six points so i mean a lot of these things are pretty high in points but um these are treats these aren't things that you're eating 
all week or things that you're eating every day. You're just having these as treats, so I don't mind it. Now these I'm sure are totally high in points, but they're mainly for Marcy. Um, so same thing, kind of like an ad on the side. Don't know why, because who's gonna not buy these? Here is the nutritional information. And let's see how many points this is. I'm gonna say about six, or maybe seven, because it's so sugary. Eh, I'm trying to do this through the camera, but it's not really working out for me. Yep, okay, six points. Might be worth it for a snack. I don't know if it'll hold you over or not, because it's only 130 calories, but hey. Now this is kind of laughable because there's like no way these are going to be like Weight Watchers friendly, but I just think they're hilarious. Marcy picked them out. There's some like nuts, a pine cone, pumpkins, corn. Um, I guess it's all different kinds of chocolate. Here's all the different kinds of chocolate it is. Ugh, hazelnut praline. I don't know if I would like that or not. But let's see, I'm assuming, so amount per serving, you actually get two. So I'm gonna assume like six points again. Let's see. Yep, so about seven points, seven for two. Not too bad. Again, if it's if you're like if you have a sweet tooth and it's worth it to you, totally go for it. Okay, these are not Weight Watchers friendly, I'm assuming, but um, these are velvety white or velvety chocolate cakes with a silky mousse. Yum 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 yum. And let's see the nutritional information. Oh my God, it's only 400 calories. <laughs> 410 calories. Here is a little up close. And then again, with a lot of allergens on here, contains milk, soy, wheat, eggs. That's kind of nerve wracking. But anyway, let's see how many points. Let's see how many points. Eleven. Five. What? These are only five points. I don't know how Weight Watchers figured that out, unless someone like lied on here. Oh, because it's three cakes. Okay, well that's not bad. I feel like one would like be good enough for me. I would just like give myself like a plastic cup, but. Oh, why is that? I feel like one of these would be enough to make me happy. Sorry, I don't know why my camera is being weird. Okay, and last but not least, we have this pecan pumpkin instant oatmeal, which again, this is like a Marcy thing, but I figured I would show you guys because it is pumpkin and it is Trader Joe's. I'm trying to look for the nutritional. Okay, here's nutritional information 190 calories for one packet. Not a lot of ingredients, which I like. It's like, that's not bad at all. Whole grain rolled oats, cane sugar, pecans, dried pumpkin, sea salt, caramel, col well, caramel color, ugh. Spices and natural flavor. I say ugh to caramel color as like I literally just showed you a bunch of trash desserts. But I just know what to look for, not saying I listen, but I just know what to look for. And Weight Watchers points. Okay, seven. Okay, so normal for a smoke meal. So, sounds good to me. Okay, so for tonight for dinner, we are using these, um, we're using the meat that we got from Costco to make burgers, and don't mind all my onions, I'm trying to cut those up for the freezer, and that's for the freezer, and everything. Sorry about all the onions, guys. Yep, sorry for all the onions. Anyway, so we're always making all these burgers, because we have a ton of burger buns, a ton of burger meat, and then we have this guy. He's gonna have a burger too, are you, Milo? Say, yum, 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 <gasps> yum, yum, yum. This guy's almost ready for food. Maybe next month. Next week. No, because he still has belly issues. He was up all night last night. Boy. Wow. I don't know what he's watching. I'm watching Sam the cooking guy make poutine. But he's yeah. making me burgers. Oh, no. I do. Oh no. I'll show that part. Edit that out. In post. Okay, so Marcy's about to try one of the chocolate mousse pumpkins and she's gonna let you know how it is. Mmm. What does it taste like? Oh my gosh. Hold on, wait. That looks crazy. Daddy's trying to. Oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's short video. Um, let me know. If, let me know if you guys like seeing videos like this um, with like the points and the food. Uh, because I feel like I would like to see those kinds of videos because it really gives you an idea before you go to the store what you're looking to get and a lot of times I'm sitting in the store like scanning things and I feel like during a pandemic maybe you shouldn't be like taking out your phone and 
checking how many times, you know, checking the points on things. So just me. But anyway, um, I am going to end this video here. And it was so nice to see you guys again. What is this? Day five? Yeah, because I'm one day behind. So it's day five. And I think what I'll do is for an added video, um, I will post like a Halloween video. What we did on Halloween night. Sounds like so much fun. I can't wait. I can't believe it's already like Halloween. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys had fun. And I hope if it is your first time here, you will subscribe. Uh, it will really motivate me to post more videos because I feel like no one's watching. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you tomorrow.